Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this short presentation on Netcall Omnibus Multi-Tier Systems Best Practice. In this presentation, the best practice settings are discussed for the three multi-tier layers, along with each layer's functionality. A multi-tier system consists of one or more layers of object servers. A single object server will perform all the tasks of a multi-tier system. The multi-tier design splits the three main functions of event collection, event processing and event display into three layers whilst adding resilience to each layer. Each layer has its own set of triggers with each layer handling new events and event G duplication uniquely. The collection layer needs to expire its events as event deletion is not propagated down the object server layers. The aggregation layer object servers are unique as they are joined by a bi-directional gateway and with this event synchronization and trigger management is required. The display layer object servers include a set of triggers to assist in monitoring event propagation. It is recommended that IPC.timeout is set to 300 or 600 seconds, all gateways in a multi-tier system. This allows time for all of the data to be synchronized between layers. The collection to aggregation gateway connects to the virtual aggregation object server. No object servers are locked by these gateways. The aggregation gateway is the only gateway in the multi-tier environment that uses a lock and this lock is a partial lock on the object server being written to during a resynchronization. The gate.resync.type used to be update but is now set to two-way update to improve behavior. The setting of the object server connection descriptions is important as these are used by the triggers in all three layers. The display layer gateway is designed to copy the contents of the aggregation layer to the display layer. It connects to the virtual aggregation object server and does not use any locks. It is recommended that alerts.details is not replicated within the multi-tier system as the alerts.status table should be configured to hold all the important information. Typically, alerts.details is used for debugging probe rules, so would not be required in the aggregation and display layers. Alerts.details can be prevented from being created by using a null details command at the end of the main rules file, or by using the disable details probe property. The aggregation gateway will replicate all users between the two object servers by default. Limiting the replication of the system users prevents issues with user details being accidentally overwritten. By default, the root user is used as a gateway login user, so this user and nobody should be prevented from being replicated. The aggregation to display layer gateways should preserve the master.national tables permissions when dual write mode is used. This can be achieved using the resync deletes filter command. Alternatively, the master.national table can be excluded from table replication. It is recommended that any dual resilient object server pair is built using the aggregation object server configuration. This allows for the system to be updated at a later date, should a display or collection layer object server be required. Collection layer object server pairs can be added at any time to an aggregation object server pair. Collection layer object servers remove event gathering loading from the aggregation layer. Display object servers can be added at any time to an aggregation object server pair. Display layer object servers increase the number of allowed client connections and spread the load of delivering event information to users. Every object server can have up to 124 connections. Given each client can use up to three connections, the number of clients on an object server can be considered to be around 330. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.